This program supports Aboriginal artistic and cultural expression and the vitality of Indigenous artists, artistic practices and communities. Although it is a dedicated program for Aboriginal arts, First Nations, Métis and Inuit artists are also invited to take advantage of all of the Canada Council's other programs. This program will operate using a self-determined, Aboriginal-centred approach. This means that it will be guided by Aboriginal artists' values and worldviews, administered by staff of Aboriginal heritage, assessed by Aboriginal arts professionals, and its impacts will be measured and reported on in an Aboriginal cultural and artistic context. Its objectives are to support customary and contemporary artistic and cultural practices by First Nations, Inuit and Métis artists, collectives and organizations, to support activities that deeply embed the perspectives, voices and stories of the First Peoples of this land in Canadian arts and Canadian society, and to affirm, recognize and support customary and contemporary artistic practices, cultural protocols and Indigenous worldviews. Through this program, the customary and contemporary artistic practices of the Aboriginal peoples of Canada will be renewed, sustained and presented in Canada and abroad. Authentic forms of artistic and cultural self-expression will be presented within Aboriginal communities and Indigenous perspectives, voices and stories will be integrated and represented more widely within the Canadian artistic community. I'm a Ganyangahaga, a Mohawk, Turtle Clan from the Six Nations of the Grand River. I think what's really important about this new program is it builds on a 20-year relationship that the Canada Council for the Arts has had with the Aboriginal arts community. In that time, we've had designated programs that I think in a very real way have influenced and impacted on Aboriginal arts in this country. This new program takes that to a new level. It's determined by Aboriginal people with and in consultation with the Aboriginal arts community. I think this speaks to a larger relationship, an acknowledgement of indigenous worldviews and artistic practices. I think this is a major movement in the way we look at Aboriginal and indigenous art in this country.